the Democratic ticket now official, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris capping an historic convention with Biden grasping the prize that has eluded him for more than three decades. I accept this nomination for president of the United States of America. Biden delivering the most consequential speech of his career, a blunt but optimistic message that included a withering attack on President Trump without ever mentioning him by name. The current president has cloaked American darkness for much too long. I'll be an ally of the light, not the darkness. It's time for us, for we the people, to come together. Biden saying America is facing four major crises, the pandemic, the economic downturn, racial strife and climate change, calling the November election life changing. This will determine what America is going to look like for a long, long time. Character is on the ballot. Compassion is on the ballot. Decency. Science, democracy, they're all on the ballot. But making it clear, the fight against COVID would be his most urgent task, laying out a plan to combat it, from rapid testing to a national mask mandate. We'll take the muzzle off our experts so the public gets the information they need and deserve. Honest, unvarnished truth. They can handle it. Biden also speaking directly to families impacted by COVID, drawing on his own grief, the deaths of his first wife and daughter in 1972, and the loss of his eldest son, Beau, in 2015. I have some idea how it feels to lose someone you love. I know that deep black hole that opens up in the middle of your chest and you feel like you're being sucked into it. Your loved one may have left this earth. But they'll never leave your heart. Biden accused the president of making the country less secure. The days of cozying up to dictators is over. Under President Biden, America will not turn a blind eye to Russian bounties on the heads of American soldiers. Nor will I put up with foreign interference in our most sacred democratic exercise, voting. Biden also saying the nation has to change in the wake of the death of George Floyd and other black Americans. Will we be the generation that finally wipes out the stain of racism from our national character? Closing out the night with this urgent call to action. This is our mission. May history be able to say that the end of this chapter of American darkness began here tonight as love and hope and light join in the battle for the soul of the nation. And this is a battle we will win and we'll do it together. Now, typically nominees hit the road and start traveling to battleground states in the wake of their conventions. Don't expect that this year. The Biden campaign believes that this virtual campaigning is working. So expect that to continue in the near term. Meanwhile, watching it all closely from the White House, President Trump he tweeted last night during the convention, quote, in 47 years, Joe Biden did none of the things of which he now speaks. He will never change, just words. President Trump will have a chance to make his argument for four more years when the Republican National Convention gets underway on Monday.